Hello, and welcome to the Imagine Products YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we'll be covering a Shopify Studio workflow that allows you to quickly execute a 3 to one backup, after which you can both transcode and upload your footage. This workflow allows you to maintain best data management practices while simultaneously getting your editors access to the needed footage as quickly as possible. To begin, select the preset tool from the toolkit at the top of the screen. Then, in the bottom left corner, you'll find your preset list, which includes both copy and transcode presets. In this tutorial, I will briefly go through the presets. However, if you would like a more detailed explanation, please view our tutorials going over each type in more depth. First, create two copy presets. In the first preset, add two local destinations. In the second preset, add a single cloud destination. Now switch to your transcode preset. Once there, create one preset and add a local destination. After that, you're ready to get started. Go ahead and add your source or sources into the center queue. Make sure you have your copy preset selected and you have the two presets you just created turned on. If you'd like, give your job a name and then click Start. You'll see that two jobs are added to the queue. The first is your cloud upload. This appears as a separate job, as more often than not, its performance will be slower than the one going to a local destination. The second job includes both of your local destinations. I do want to note that these jobs appear separately due to them having two different destination types, not because they are separate presets. If you were to have two different presets turned on, both with local destinations, it would create only one job. After both jobs finish up, you will have completed your 3 one backup. This means you have three total copies on two different types of media with one located off-site. To move on with your workflow, Right-click the job going to your local destinations. From the menu, select the option marked Transcode. After doing so, a pop-up will appear. In the pop-up, you will first select the drive you would like to use to perform the Transcode. After that, select the Transcode preset that you created earlier, and then click Start. The Transcode job will now appear in the Jobs list to the right as a sub-job to your original copy. You can select it to view progress for each file and select a file to view its metadata. To finish up your workflow, we'll want to send the transcode to a cloud destination to give any off-site members of production access. To do so, start by right-clicking the transcode job we just completed. From the menu that appears, select Upload. A similar pop-up will appear, this time allowing you to select the cloud bucket to send the transcode to. After making your selection, click Start. After that job finishes, you will have completed your Shopify Studio workflow. Of course, there are many combinations in which Studio can be used. This is just one example. If you do have any questions at all, please reach out to our support team or drop us a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and as always, imagine together.